Hi, I'm Tom, and in this video, I will go through the new features of Revit LT version 2022. You may know that there are lots of sources that talk about what's new in the full version of Revit 2022, but there are not so many explaining what are the new features of LT version. So I will go through it using this uh, Autodesk Revit LT 2022 help page explaining what's new in Revit LT 2022. I will not explain all of the new features. I recommend you to check out uh, other videos from channels like Balkan Architect, Revit Pure or BIM OC Guru which go deeper into explaining the new features. I will link this page in the description box below. And when we take a look at the core features that made it into Revit LT 2022, the main one is PDF export. This is, I think, the highlight of this version because it enables you to export PDF natively. You don't have to set up external PDF printer and it, it uh, helps a lot in my short testing, it looks good. It enables you to print uh, different uh, sheet sizes at once. And it's really, really, really good new feature. This is, I think, the most important one of this release. The second feature is support for CSV exports for schedules. Previously, you could export only to .txt file. So this is quite useful because CSV can be then imported into Excel. Quite useful. I would like to see also import of CSV files or even better to export to XLSX directly into the, into the Excel format. But even the CSV format is quite good and will be quite useful. Another one exports small objects at large scale means that at large scales they're exporting to dwg there were some uh, details that were missing i didn't test this but hopefully it will work okay even in revit lt next one open cloud models using file menu i mean lt is not used so much for co coordination with with uh, other people that's the limitation of revit lt but uh, this functionality work i'm not sure i won't be using it you might be using it split schedules across the sheets another useful features you can split shadows across multiple sheets previously they could all be the one schedule could be only on one sheet now you can spread them through multiple sheets which is quite useful for, for large schedules. This listed feature, Link Rhinoceros 3DM files, I think is a mistake of this uh, help file because there's no linking of, of other files, only, only SketchUp you can import, but you cannot link Rhinoceros in Revit LT 2022. I've written to Autodesk, for them to explain or to remove this from the from the help file another feature remember modified tool setting it will uh, remember when you use these tools it will remember the last use settings so that you don't have to always set it up again quite useful again materials tab settings again uh, it remembers material stab settings also quite useful these small features they seem just like small things but all to, together they make a lot of difference another feature preserve callout views uh, these uh, callout views will be preserved even if the parent is deleted i don't think i will use this as much but again small feature that might sometimes come useful even though now you don't think it's useful. Another, another feature which is useful, you can filter parameter field by, uh, by new criteria and uh, it can be parameter name, parameter type, discipline value, type instance. So this is again quite useful to, to, to filter parameters. Another feature, multiple values indicator. When you have a tag 
which points to two different uh, two different uh, families it shows that uh, they are they are different multi-leader text this is quite useful it enables you to create uh, more than one uh, more than one um, more than one leader to to one tag so you can tag for instance three windows with one tag again small feature which might be quite useful prefix and suffix for dimensions types previously you could write prefixes or suffixes only to each individual instance of uh, of your dimension now you can do that to all of the all of the dimension type so all of the dimensions will have suffix sometimes this might be handy too another great new feature is shared 2d views previously you could only share 3d views to cooperate with uh, with your clients or with your team now you can export and share also 2d views and uh, you can you can write annotations inside and comments so this is again i think quite a useful feature because usually it's easier to to talk with clients or or your team in the 2d views than in 3d views next multi-category tag enhancements this enables you to have a multi-category tag which tags different uh, different uh, types so you can use just one tag to to you don't have to have each tag for different tag for different different uh, category another thing that made it into the lt version is the revision numbering enhancements previously you could only choose between two types of uh, revision number numbering now you can choose the numbering now you can set it up as you as you want so again quite useful you are not limited by what revit offers you shared parameters in key schedules i won't be using this uh, new new feature but again this might prove useful you never know when you when you will use this expanded category list for multi-category schedules and material takeoffs this is useful because now you can schedule uh, system families like walls roofs floors railings and other which you previously could not do so again might prove might prove useful edit work set parameters in parameter and schedules work sets are, pr are primarily used uh, when you're working in a team with the full version of revit so i'm not even sure if uh, you are enabled to do this in revit lt but this is definitely not what uh, LT users will will find very useful. Filter by family and type in a schedule. This is self-explanatory. This again quite useful for battle handling the scheduling. Autodesk has done a lot of new features that enable you to pro do schedules uh, better. Reference plane in 3D shapes. This again I'm not sure if this should be placed here in the Revit LT new features because uh, this imports reference planes in imported uh, geometry but actually with Revit LT you cannot import this geometry so you might be able to use these reference plane when full version someone who's using full version will import these files and then you can use it but you yourself cannot import this uh, this geometry improved default color schemes um new new colors the default colors have been added they are supposedly they supposedly look uh, nicer than the original one which were quite saturated so again small useful thing additional model categories i really like these uh, there are new model categories like foods and service equipment, fire protection, audiovisual devices. This is quite important for interior, signage, hardscape. And so uh, this is quite useful because 
even for instance if you don't use signage you can use this category in your in your uh, in your project for some other other families that uh, you can then you can then use to to work in in views sometimes we have to do this in revit lt because we don't have uh, view filters another new uh, feature that's listed here is dynamo updates but again i think this is mistake because revit lt doesn't support dynamo so i think this shouldn't be in this revit lt 22 new features another new feature is rotated tags again quite useful you can rotate the tags so they are not always horizontal grids in 3d views you can have grids uh, in 3d views it speaks for itself i don't i wouldn't be using this that much but uh, it might again prove useful even at the first even though at the first sight it might not seem useful to you sometimes you might find out that you are using it tags rehost to links this is again uh the, the, the tags remember the remember the host and when they are rehosted they they are when when the link model is reloaded they are automatically rehosted load autodesk family navigation this enables you in the load autodesk family some enhancements that you can you can search uh, you can move forward backward i don't find autodesk families too useful that are in the library now hopefully they will make more and more of them and more useful now to the architecture features the first one wall enhancements the new enhancements enhancement with wall is that now you can create tapered walls at first sight again i don't use that many tapered walls but sometimes it might be useful and a lifesaver when you just need one um, some it might be used for retaining walls and so on so uh, i think this is a nice new feature another one improved format interoperability again i think this shouldn't be listed here because uh, revit lt doesn't em enable you to uh, to link format models this doesn't work for revit lt and also format is part of the aec suite so you cannot uh, buy it as a standalone software so and part of the aec suite is the full rev version of revit so i don't see you revit lt users using format maybe only the the web version but then the interoperability doesn't work so i think this should be removed another one spot slopes on ramps that's self-explaining tag curtain wall mullions again i won't be using this one but uh, some someone again might be might find this very very useful another one enhanced rpc there are some enhancements for the rpc content which include improved visualization in 3d realistic views and then simplified representation in the non-rendered views you can also control the colors of of each cars and so on i don't use much rpc content but again might be useful now more release information this is just uh, not uh, not new features so overall i think revit lt 2022 is a nice new release uh, i think all of the autodesk engineers that uh, were working on this release the main things that will be helping me is the pdf export definitely the cv csv export that's also quite useful then shared 2d views then some tag enhancements and schedule enhancements all together they they will make the workflow better if you want to see deep dive into these new uh, these new features i recommend videos from balkan architect revit pure or 
BIM OC Guru, I will link them in the description box below. If this video helped you, smash that like button and take care.